Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Super Aeronautique G21 that I've made in game based off of Loon's real life counterpart. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so spawning it in with Loon, you'll see that it is kind of cramped because we are sitting in the garage still. So uh, yeah, we'll go get outside and then we'll take a look around. Alright, we have just gotten down from Loon. First step, we're going to go ahead and expand the boat, which is going to lift up this roof, along with uh, lowering this stern uh, drop down. I'm going to start the engine here, and disconnect these, and we'll get out. Perfect. All right, so starting at the bow, we have this connector along with some deck lights, which we'll go ahead and turn on because they look cool. Got this bow seating for four. Going back, we have these nice details along the wall. We have the driver's helm, which is the screen that we're going to work on today. Control panel, engine key, throttle lever, some more seating, along with some on this side. We have this roof thing, which has a winch for uh, wake surfing or any toys that you want to do behind the Super Nautique. Cup holders and speakers with built-in lights, along with some speakers here. Going back, we have some more seating, some cool designs. The engine is under here, electric connector, and this swim platform, if you will, off the back. All right, we are in the build menu here, so we're going to go ahead and start by just cleaning things up. So extra buttons that we don't need to get rid of. I've actually already done a pretty good job with this. Filling in the gaps under the seats. Ooh. Everything looks good so far. Okay, so we'll move back. We could put some pyramids right here. Just make it look a little bit cleaner. All right, so what I'm thinking is we add some more of these light up cup holders. Now we will copy that, flip it over there, Oops. and then hook it up to those. All right. Further back, those were supposed to be cup holders, but I think we will do some indicators for them. So this one we'll just leave black because that's kind of the vibe that we have back there. Put the cup holder there. And then We'll do one of the mini speakers right here. Getting some visual glitches just because of this 
other physics body right here. Just gonna have to kind of live with that. There we go. Now we will grab the blue, add some more lights. Boom. Copy that over and connect that to our deck light switch. Go ahead and spawn it in, give it a look. All right, so you can see that we have the cup holders and the speaker in the walls here. That's two cup holders, speakers up front. Now we'll go ahead and lift that up. We have the cup holders back here. Go ahead, make it a little bit darker. Flip on the deck lights. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now we might add some underwater lights because those always, you know, make it look more fun. And then we'll work on this screen, get the rest of these sorted out. Yeah. Right, so we're going to go ahead and grab some lights. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Connect that to the second input. And then here we'll do underwater lights. We will do a arrow button facing down. Uh, yeah, second channel toggle. There we go. Sweet. Nice. Now we do have to add some side windows. We might make these shorter. Those are dwarfing the boat right now. I've gone ahead and added smaller windows. I think they look a lot better. They're not as gigantic. They fit the scale of this boat a lot more. So now we're going to go ahead and work on this display right here, which will have the map, speed, fuel, engine, all that jazz so uh yeah let's go start playing with lua so i always like to start a new vehicle and then put my display on a little pedestal here just to make it look a little bit better and then i do have a modded workbench so you can always do this in the hangar too though We'll just get a three by three controller. Video out. Okay, then we will get, we'll do expand boat as an input and then we're gonna need several that are not what I wanted. Luas. Composite right on off. We'll just give this a few channels because we're gonna need them. <laughs> we won't hook that up yet. So, boom. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and open a Lua editor in our browser and start designing this a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this. I'll have this linked below in the description. So yeah, now we have a map. that we can zoom. Okay, I've done some work on the screen. So this is what we have. It's a bit cluttered on this side. I might move some of this stuff over here. 
but so in the middle we have a map with zoom buttons on either side speed in the middle which is nice we have this representation of the boat if you put up the tower you know representation might add some other things to that battery fuel and these will be uh like uh, gauges rps and then the rps engine and then the temperature so this will go green when you turn on the engine so uh yeah i'm gonna do some more work hopefully clean this up a little bit and then yeah we'll come back Okay, so this is what I came up with. We're gonna go ahead and copy the code and go into Stormworks. Okay, so into the Lua, we're going to go to this one, paste it in, see how it looks. Much better. Okay, so battery, fuel, RPS, 20, temperature, engine, We'll have that go green. Zoom map in the middle. Speed. Oh, we need to move that up. So what I'm actually going to do is find the one. And then I think... see what we've done is we've made the other one big we want just txt and this one txt so now they should both be small perfect so now if i go here 11 19 The wheat. I move both of those in one too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, so Lua. X. So we're gonna go down one. Then this one. Then go up one. Now. In here. Those are closer, look a little bit better. Okay, so I've added all the nodes and the only one that I have hooked up is RPS. So we're gonna get this max value 20. So, okay, so that's a problem. That's in the wrong one. So, Go down here. Yes, that would do it. I have put that in the wrong spot. Here we need a RPS. There we go. Now we have RPS 0, RPS 20, speed. Very nice. we go so that's off if it is more than four rps that will go on so rps is six and then the engine dies that turns off again sweet or is 21 oh. whoa oh okay so that's Kind of working, just like not really at all. Okay. <laughs> um, 
I should probably get rid of the original one, which is right there. One times 21. I'm trying to figure out how this works. <clears throat> oh, so when it's at one, it is the right length. So then we do I do I'm probably gonna get this totally wrong. If I do twenty twenty one then at twenty full so then it could be sitting at here and then we can go off engine turns off Sweet. Okay, so that's a lot easier than I thought it was. Okay, now we have battery, fuel. Okay, so I've just finished working on this. So, battery and fuel, battery, uh, fuel, and these are customizable values. RPS. Temperature. And speed. So these are all finished and it's all filled out. Let's go ahead and take a look at it in the boat. All right, so in the actual boat, you can see that we have everything. If I go ahead and start the engine, that goes green, do deck lights, we can put up the tower and then we'll go map is working which is nice temperatures working fuels working everything's good underwater lights nav lights so yeah Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you stayed this long in the video, maybe you'd be interested in joining my Discord server. Link in the description. So, uh, yeah. Once again, thank you for watching. As always, you have a great day.